What is going on, everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We are back on the Hermitcraft Amplified server. A couple things I need to mention. I am finally recording and uploading, or at least this is my first attempt at uh, uploading 1080p videos. So they should be a lot clearer. So I need some feedback from you guys if uh, you are seeing things more clearly and crisply. I kind of, you know, delayed this for years, actually, just because it didn't seem like uh, a lot of people were using 1080p or, it, you know, it just takes up so much hard drive space when you're recording and stuff that, you know, it didn't seem to be worth it. But I actually watched a couple of my own videos and I'm like, man, I need to step it up and make these things a little more crisp and make them look better. I have done a few things here, uh, just preparing this top level. I've changed the pillars a little bit, I think, since uh, last video. I was trying to figure out kind of what looked good. I ended up going with some of those prismarine, I think they're prismarine bricks. Yeah. And then some, some lanterns in the middle to light it up. And then some of the andesite, no, diorite, uh, around the edges. So there are our four pillars that should keep up the roof that we put on this place. Yes, it is. this place is getting bigger and bigger every time. And uh, hopefully we'll get started on the mob spawner today as well. Uh, and oh, I forgot to mention last episode, of course, welcome to Doc M and Etho to the server. We are all extremely happy to have them here. Um, a lot of us have recorded with uh, them in the past. Uh, I've recorded a lot with Doc. Uh, we hang out whenever he's in town, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really happy to, uh, to have him recording here, and hopefully we will run into him on the server very soon and maybe do some recording together. Uh, same with Etho. Um, so anyway, uh, if you haven't already, give them a big welcome on their channels to the server. I'm sure it will be, uh, they'll be a great addition to the place. Um, a couple other things. Oh, last episode, I mentioned I wanted to uh, create some banners. And uh, not banners like YouTube banners or anything like that. Uh, the banners in Minecraft. You know, like the, uh, the kind of castle flag things where, you know, it shows the identity of the, the family or, you know, the owner of the house or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we need to give this place an identity and uh, give it a flag. And we also need to give our portal a flag or a banner uh, so that people know uh, whose place it is and how to get to it and, and all of that. So uh, I have a couple cool designs that I've come up with. And uh, actually, there's some other designs I want to make for other people. <laughs> it seems kind of weird, but um, uh, just came up with things that seem to go well with other people's builds, and I'm, I'm just actually going to make some extra ones for some other people too. Um, so we'll do that, and like I said, uh, I've got to get started on that mob spawner. I did build a pillar up to the edge of the sky there, and uh, so that, I don't even know if we can see up to the top, but wherever that ends, that is the, the sky, and we're going to build the mob spawner way up there. Uh, the roof of this thing we'll have another level where uh, we should be able to AFK. Uh, we might have to go up a little further. I'm not sure. It depends on how high we build the spawner or how high we need to build the spawner in order to not have interference from any mobs that are in the caves around here. Um, so hopefully I will get started on that, at least uh, build the ground level or the locations you know, where I want to put the levels, that kind of thing. So, why don't we head back? I'm going to get rid of some of my inventory uh, out of here. Just so, let's see. I need some squid. What else do I need? I have a few recipes here. Uh, I need some cactus. Uh, I don't need this stuff right now. Don't need this stuff right now. I need some red flowers, probably. I don't think I need any yellow. Um, what else? Uh, well, I will, I will, um, grab a few things that I think I need, and then, um, we will be back. I'll probably head back to, uh, the main portal hub so that we can put our, 
put our first banner up at our portal so that people will know where to find us. Um, so I will do that. I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, we are back at Hermit Hills. It's nice to be back here. Um, we've been working on the new base quite a bit lately, but um, it's good to be back. So I hope I do all these layers correctly. So you can add probably as many layers as you want. Um, I'm not sure how banners work or if, or if they have, uh, um, you know, a certain limit or something like that, but uh, it should work. We need, we need a black background banner. So we make that. Oh, I forgot I haven't told you what we're doing here. Um, well, I'll, why don't I just go ahead and do it and you'll see as it's coming along. So we need a brown stripe in the middle, but then we need to make that brown stripe very thin. So we are going to add, uh, this is like the jail cell lines. It adds a bunch of lines down the middle. So you can see the brown line right here is very thick. The brown line right here is very thin. Uh, on top of that, we need to put three, uh, oh, sorry. I need three red dye or rose red. So I don't need the flowers. I need the actual dye, of course. That uh, was silly. Um, okay, so we're looking like things are working correctly, I think. Um, this should add a black, uh, curvy, I don't know what you call this. It's like uh, a curvy thing. This is starting to look inappropriate, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> um, and then the final layer we have to add to this is the grass. And as you can tell, you should be able to tell what this is now. This is a red mushroom and grass. So it's not what you dirty birds were thinking it was for a second. That would be, that would be silly, but it's a red mushroom. Uh, there's grass, there's, uh, it's a black background. I tried it with blue to make it look like the sky, you know, the back black, or the sky blue background with the green grass and the mushroom growing from it. Um, however, that didn't look very good. It looked better with the black background, so I kept it like that. So that is going to be our base. We're going to put some big mushrooms up on, uh, not, not this base, in the Monkey Island base. Um, so I need to make a couple more of these. So how many do I need to make? I need to make one for the portal hub, uh, two or at least one for my portal entrance, the one with the minecart elevator. Then I need to make a couple for the actual island itself. So I need to make like three more of those. So I will do that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna repeat uh, that, but I have a couple other designs. What's up, cow? If you could eat this, you would become a mushroom, but you can't. Okay, so I wanna make some other banners, like I mentioned, for other people. Uh, not for their bases necessarily, but for things on the server. And I think you guys will like this. Uh, a couple of them are pretty cool. Uh, I need, let's see, I need 12 black wool. So I need two, actually, I'll probably need more than that mm -hmm. if potentially um, the people are going to want to use them. I'm going to make them for them. I'm not going to say, you know, hey, you have to use this, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, oh, what do I need? Magenta dye. How do I get magenta dye? Let me, hmm, do I have anything? Uh, I need to figure out how to make that. Is that red? Do I need a special flower for that or can I mix blue and red? I wonder. All right, turns out uh, normally you would need a, I guess, a lilac flower. So this purple is, is garbage. I, I don't need it or it's not going to help. Uh, because I don't have a lilac flower, but I can make this with bone meal and blue and red. I believe it is like this. Okay. Please say magenta. Yes. Okay. So I've got four magenta now. Awesome. Okay. So let's get that, these banners back in here. Uh, I should probably make a couple more. Well, let's make these two and make sure they work first and then, and then we'll, we'll worry about it. Oh, you know what? 
I need more than that. I need five. Wow, we are um, we're really going all out here, aren't we? So we've got two, one, and a lapis. There, we've got eight. That should be enough. We need to shape this like a plus sign and then put... This is not going to give me two, though. It's going to give me one, huh? Okay, so I still need to make more. Uh, but let's make one just for now. And we need squid. And that, my friends, is an enderman. So I'm going to give that to the enderman farm uh, because check it out. That is pretty sweet. Is that not pretty sweet? Um, so that, those are the enderman eyes, of course. And uh, so that is that. Um, I'll make a couple more of those. And the other ones I needed, I'm not quite sure how to make. Let's see. I think I need bone meal. Uh, how much do I need, though? Here's four. That's light blue. Oh, there's eight. Okay, that should work. Uh, I need six. Five, six wool, and I guess I'm going to need more than that. Uh, that didn't work. I ran out. Um, okay, so let's make, let's just make one of these at, for the moment. Mm -hmm. This one is actually going to be for Shwami Zuma, Shwami Zuma Void. Uh, this is going to be, well, you could tell what color it is already, what it's going to be, can't you? Uh, this is going to add some blue lines to it. Can you tell what it's going to be? Of course. This is awesome. Um, oh, I need more lapis. And this is going to make the top blue, I believe. And that is for his squid farm. Does that not look like a squid? Check it out. All right. Well, we've got a mushroom, a red mushroom, not a brown mushroom. Uh, an enderman and a squid. So I'm going to make a few more of these and we will go deliver them. Uh, I'm going to Skype uh, the people this affects and say, ask them if they mind if I, if I put them up in the, uh, the nether portal hub. Uh, but I'm sure they won't mind. I don't know. I'll give these to Zuma. This is more of a community portal, but uh, I think it makes sense to have an enderman. That way you don't even have to read the sign. You look at like, hey, this flag tells me where the enderman farm is, doesn't it? All right, we're back and we are stocked up. We have five of each banner. Uh, the reason we need five is because we need one for the wall menu or the, what do you call it? The, the guide or whatever they call that thing on a map or whatever. <laughs> um, the, the little things on the wall that, that tell you what the, uh, what the flag means or whatever. Uh, and then we need two for each side of the portal. Most of the portals are kind of uh, double-sided, like floating, so we'll have one on each side on this side, and then if you walk to the other side of the portal, you'll see it on this side too. Uh, so I did manage to get a hold of Tango, because he, uh, I don't, I, I think he and Slipgator built the Enderman farm, if I remember correctly. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, why is that one not breaking? Um, so he said, yeah, awesome. He loves it. So um, we're going to go put that up. Uh, Suzuma right now is probably asleep because I'm in the U.S. and he's U.K. And uh, it's evening my time. So my guess is that he is uh, obviously not seeing the Skype. But I will leave them in a base for him somewhere or a chest, you know, somewhere. And he can have them. And if he wants to put them up, he is more than welcome to. By the way. Wanted to let you guys know that I parked a boat without it breaking. Just, that's a major accomplishment, so I wanted to let the entire world know, the whole interwebs. Let's get back to, uh, <laughs> let's get back to the work that we're doing here. I always hear zombies here. Does anybody know where somebody stuck a zombie? It's always there. All right, where is this, one, this wall thing? Okay, so we have uh, the end portal one is the red one. That doesn't look like an Enderman to me. So, let's see, how do we get this off without breaking the entire world down? Uh, is this, do I need to place the bottom one or the top one? Nope, that is not correct. 
Why would it do that? Oh, and the sign broke. What the heck, man? Why is it upside down? You place it on the ground and you break the top. Um, that's really weird. Okay, so... Uh, the end portal. I think he called it the end portal portal. I think that's what he called it. Anyway, so there is that one. And now we have to go find the red portal. And that is not this one. The next one, I believe. Yep, there it is. All right. So I'm wondering if these uh, pigmen are chasing me because I did kill a couple pigmen, but way far away, not related to, not, not in the area, over far away. But all right, so we need to place this here. Oh, that's kind of like you can't really see it. Hmm. That kind of sucks, actually. The portal color is like, um, hmm. Well, I hope people are smart enough to figure it out. It looks like, looks like an Enderman. They can tell from the flag, I'm sure. They'll be okay. Uh, we don't have any room here either. What are we supposed to do? Where am I going to put my mushroom flag? What's the deal? I need to make a sign. Not that. Uh, what am I going to get rid of? <laughs> um, no, I'm not going to get rid of that. I will get rid of two wood blocks, and I will come back and get them. So I want to put one up here, but I don't want people to get confused, and then... This is really weird. Um, tch, well, I guess, I guess this is how I'm supposed to do it. And I need to get up here. Ah, oh, and it's slabs. I can't even do that. Ah. All right, now we need our sign. And what is it called? Lake Monkey or Monkey Lake? I don't even know. I think it's called Monkey Lake. I don't know. Did I ever officially name it anything like that? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. Close enough. Okay, we have added row two <laughs> of the portal um, list thing. Okay, and we need to put some more up here. Should we put them on the inside or on the outside? I don't want them falling off and breaking off and going into the lava. I could put them on top. Why don't I put them on top? Yeah, that's cool. Ta-da! I, I should probably take this stuff down at some point, too. Of course, they don't have the inventory space. That's why. Oh, that one looks kind of like the Enderman, but uh, it's a little... It actually looks like Zombie Cleo. I, that's really odd. That looks like her. That's pretty cool. I like those eyes. Those are, those are cool. And this one, an ice biome type of thing looks very wintry that looks pretty cool all right so we've got our we've got our mushroom island something or another flags banners thingies um, let's head over to the home oh wait we don't really need these other two uh, we'll just put them up We'll put them up at our base just for decoration. So I'm not going to put them on this side. I'm going to put them on our uh, on the lake side, uh, the the island, the monkey island side, um, because eventually I'm going to move this portal over to the island, and that will be the primary portal. And then we can take the minecart track over here if we want it, rather than starting here and going to the island every time. Well, I don't know exactly where to put these at the moment because we don't really have uh, a primary spot. I mean, I guess we can put them up here to show 
that. We can make some more, and we can put them everywhere if we want. But uh, for now, I guess, I mean, I don't know how many people will be approaching. I guess if people arrive over there and take a boat over here, they'll see uh, Lake Monkey Mushroom Island something or another. Um, so I think I want to make a garden, and we can make giant mushrooms in the garden up there on that on that top level. It can be uh, all spooky and, you know, cool looking. Uh, so that's an idea. That's kind of why I wanted to go with the Mushroom Island theme, even though the whole, uh, the whole base itself right now doesn't really resemble anything like that. I think we can add that theme to the building. I want to head up here and kind of scope out the... Uh, the mob spawner type of thing. Uh, I don't remember if I put ladders all the way up to the top or not. We might not be able to get up to the top. I don't remember. But we'll get pretty close. And um, I'm going to put on the F3 menu here to see how many entities. Uh, as we go higher, we should see that entity number decrease because we are out of the area. I think that's how it works. They should start disappearing. Uh, wait, or is that entities in the world, regardless of whether or not they're in our view? I don't know. Um, actually, yeah, it is starting to decrease as we rise up here. So obviously, we'll want to get up to a height where there are zero entities, because that's going to give us the most spawning area of mobs. Uh, we still have two, which is odd. Um, that may have been our cutoff. I don't know why there would still be two. I'll have to, it's been a while since I've looked into what that number means. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, we didn't go up to the top. But here we are standing on top of the low. Oh my gosh, that is far down. But check it out. Um, so we don't really, I guess we don't really have to build the mob spawner way up at the very, very top. We're pretty much there. We're at 237. The top is 264. Uh, so the mob spawner would be starting in this area anyway. We're probably, I think I'll put like five levels. Um, we're going to do mobs on demand, but we're going to do it with the water dispensers. We're also going to do it with spiders. Um, so it's going to spawn spiders, creepers, zombies, and skeletons. Obviously, Enderman uh, doesn't work because there's water, but we don't need Enderman. We have an Enderman farm at the end portal portal as we know, because we just put signs up. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is going to be where the mob spawner is. I guess we'll have an AFK area, like a level somewhere up here, you know, maybe wherever, wherever the kind of the cutoff point is where um, mobs will spawn up there. We have to be more than 24 blocks away from any area we want them to spawn, but we also want to be high enough so that they don't start spawning down there on the ground. Let's see, we're up here at level 212, so they'll spawn, I think, what, 70 or 80 blocks away from us. Uh, so I think we're pretty safe, actually, right now. I don't think mobs will be spawning really anywhere uh, in this area. So if we build a little AFK platform up here, we can hang out up here, run run the mob spawner. I think what I want to do though, uh, yeah. all right. Um, let's see what we're, uh, we're going to have a floor up here where these pillars start. And I think what we can do is we can have the mobs drop off. We don't necessarily need that for an XP farm. We'll need it for drops. So it might be kind of cool just to have them drop down and die in front of us. We can put them through lava and have them on fire when they drop down. And we won't have to protect the area or anything. They'll be, you know, guaranteed death kind of. Um, so it can just be a, you know, a mob dying kind of situation. Actually, well... There aren't going to be a lot of spawning uh, mobs spawning up there when we're down here because they will be spawning in caves and stuff below us and over in mountains. So really, that's not going to it's not going to give us a lot of mobs dropping around when we're just hanging out in the area. We'll get a few random ones, of course, but um, if we're running the the clock on it, um, but. Yeah, so anyway, I will get working on planning that, and we'll probably start building it next episode. Um, so once again, I am uploading and recording in 60 FPS now, 1080p or whatever on YouTube. 
Um, so if it looks better, let me know and uh, thumb it up if you want me to continue this. Obviously, it takes more time to uh, to render and it takes more time to upload, so it is an extra hassle on my part. But I do want to make sure that the videos are good and they look good and that you guys uh, think they are of um, good enough quality and everything video wise. So. Um, I would appreciate your feedback. Let me know. And that is it for now. We'll see you later.